Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an awesome plastic wrap effect all in Photoshop. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see I've opened up an image. We have the subject against a plain white background. Now you can do this with a plain white background or a slightly more complex background. You may just need to spend a little bit more time making that initial selection, but once you've done that, you're all good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is select the background. Now we can do this with the quick selection tool, which is located under the magic wand tool. And we'll just left click and drag over the white background and Photoshop does a pretty good job at making that selection. And we can go to select inverse. So it flips this around. Our subject is now selected and we can add a layer mask from the bottom of the layers panel. And alongside from that, you can see the adjustment icon. So we'll click this and add a solid color as well. Now this is going to be our background and I'd recommend somewhere between a white and a very light gray. So I'm going to use the color EEE. -E -E. E, e, e. And I'll just drag this layer to the bottom. This will be the background layer and I'm going to lock the position of this here just so I don't move it by mistake. And we can double click on layer zero and call this subject. So now we have our subject separated from the background. What we'll do next is right click on our subject layer, select duplicate layer, and we're going to call this plastic wrap. Now this is the layer where we're going to be applying our plastic wrap effect and with that layer selected go to filter and down to filter gallery and you'll see something like this pop up. We have lots of different filter effects here. We're going to be focusing on plastic wrap that is located under the artistic tab and you can see it here on the right and we've got a few different settings we can play around with. So these are the settings here that I'm going to be using for this image in particular, but feel free to adjust these as you like. So we can adjust the highlight strength. We can adjust the detail in our wrap effect or the smoothness as well. But I've brought the smoothness all the way up just so we get a super smooth plastic wrap effect. And when you're done, click OK. And if we just zoom in, you can see the difference that that makes. Now the next adjustment layer that we're going to add from the bottom of the layers panel is a black and white layer. And you can see it adds this at the top and we can now see this dialog box here. Now we have the default preset at the moment. We're going to be focusing on the red and the yellow sliders in this tutorial for the skin tone. And the goal here is to increase both of these sliders so you can see the change it has on the image. but we don't want to start losing too much detail. So if I bring the red one all the way up here, you can see we start losing detail around the ear, the fingers, the face, the lips, it just all gets lost. So we're gonna bring these up gradually together until we find a nice balance, something that's really, really light, but doesn't lose that detail. So something like this, and you can toggle this effect off and on with the eye icon at the bottom of the panel. And because this is an adjustment layer, we can always double click the thumbnail here at a later point and just make further adjustments. So that's good. We have that flexibility there. Now we're going to right click on our subject layer and select duplicate layer again. And we're going to call this layer facial features. And we'll drag this all the way to the top. And the first thing we're going to do with the layer selected is go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and we'll drag the saturation slider all the way to the left removing that color desaturating the image and again we're going to go to image adjustments and this time select invert and then if we simply change the blend mode at the top here from normal to screen we get something like this and you can really start to see this effect coming together now you can leave this layer set at 100% if you like. 
or you can bring it down a touch. If you bring it down too far, you'll start to get some of the blacks or the darker colors coming in from the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes. So I like to drop this down somewhere between five and 10%, or you can leave it at 100%, it's entirely up to you. But at the moment we have the facial features layer selected. We're now going to switch over to the mask here and grab the brush tool and one of Photoshop's soft round pressure opacity brushes with a hardness of zero. And you can adjust the size by using the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. Now for this section, I would recommend dropping the flow down a little bit. If we have it at 100%, it's gonna be quite intense, whereas we can drop that intensity a little bit. So the effect is going to be a bit more subtle. Now, of course, when working with masks, we have white to add to the mask and black to remove. So we've got our soft feathered brush. We have black selected. We have the mask selected. Then we've dropped our flow to, let's round that up to 20%. And I'm just going to gently just brush in over some of the details. So I'm brushing in some cases and I'm just left clicking in others. Now, I don't want to go too crazy and start doing anything like this. This is just really to bring back in just a few of those features, maybe a little bit of the shadow under the wrists here, maybe areas on the neck, but we don't want to go too crazy here and bring in too much shadow because the whole point of this is to create a plastic wrap effect. So we want this to be quite light. And of course, if you do kind of go too far like this, you can just press X on the keyboard to swap those colors around. And now using white, you can add back into the mask like so. So that's the, the brilliant thing about the mask is we get the flexibility to keep adding to it or removing to it uh, however we like. Now, one last thing we're going to do is right click on our facial features layer and select blending options. And you'll see this box appear here. And at the bottom of the blending options screen, we have the blend if section. So for the underlying layer, if I grab this slider on the right and drag this to the left, you can see it does something like this. It's a bit pixely and not the, not the best result. So let's just put that back. However, if we do hold down the alt key on our keyboard, and then left click on the left half of the slider and keep that Alt key held, we can separate the two and drag this to the left and it will blend this facial features layer into the layers below. Now again, if we do go too far, you can see it brings back a lot of those shadows and mid-tones into the image, which we don't necessarily want. We wanna keep it very light and very plastic-like. But you can drop this down a little bit and really this step is kind of optional if you just want to blend that in a bit more. So I'm going to just go back onto my facial features mask and just lighten some of these features. Just brushing over those with the brush tool. And again, we could click on the black and white adjustment layer thumbnail and then go back in and fine tune these even more. And there we go. That's how to create an awesome plastic wrap effect in Photoshop. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.